Welcome. Hello, hello. Hello to everyone. Welcome, newcomers. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, we thank God for everyone. Thank you, God bless you. Your life would be no, your life will never be the same. As we are praying these prayers, prayer time, uh, I'm going to talk to you about uh, prayer against the power of limitations. The power of limitations. Prayer against the power of limitations. This is your host, Provetes, Dr. Christine Sigi, welcome you. From Overcomers, Deliverance and Healing Ministry, Brampton, Toronto, Canada. Welcome once again. I'm going to read from the book of Philippians 4, verse, 3, verse 13. Philippians 4, verse 13. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. You see, the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthened me. So you have been given permission to do all things, but there is enemy called limitation. There is great enemy limiting people. People cannot move forward. People cannot do things according to the Bible. They cannot do all things. Why set you to do the great when God wants you to do the impossible? God, God wants you to do, to do great things. There are several groups of people we know in the Bible. Those that they do not know how and, and do not know to. There are some people in the Bible who did not know how and do not know what to do. Those that did not know how to do and but want to do. Those that did not know how to how to how to do and how and what to do. Those that do something but they don't know how. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. So, our limit, the Bible is filled with examples of great people that God uses, but they all understood what it meant to be limited. If you can be limited, it is very, very difficult. Let's look at the example of Moses. Moses felt limited by his ability to, to speak. When God called Moses, he asked him to go to Egypt. To release the children of Israel from Egypt. But because Moses was a stammerer, he could not speak properly. He was afraid. He was limited. He could not do what God wanted him to do. Although God was talking to him. God was speaking to him face to face. But Moses was limited. He was limited. He could not be able to, 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 to talk. And then he told God, God, you know my mouth. I don't speak well. I am a stammerer. Well, I can't speak in front of a fellow. Moses, because he was afraid, Moses, he, was, he feared that he can't stand in front of people to talk. It would take Moses like one minute to, to pronounce a word. So it said, I, God, you know. Then God told him, who created the mouth? Who created the speech? I am sending you. Then because Moses was insisting, so God told Moses, don't worry, your brother is there, Aaron. He will be spoken. He will be a spoken man. He will be speaking with you on your behalf. So Moses was limit. Powers, powers of limitation. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray any power that is limit, limiting anybody, any power of limitation that has made people, they cannot achieve what you are planning them to do. Let this power be destroyed. Let this power be wasted in Jesus' name. Gideon fell limited by his 300 men. You see, Gideon also was fell limited. He was afraid. He was going to the war. And all the soldiers, God told them, the, 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 the soldiers who would be drinking the water, they, they are the ones to go. And those who are drinking the water like dogs, 
like like with their lens, like with their tongues, they would not go. So he was afraid. He said, God, what am I going to do? We are going to the war. And all the army have gone back home. So there, he's remaining with only 300 men and he's going to the war. So he was like, he, he wanted to do this, but he was afraid. He was afraid. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The disciples of Jesus felt limited with the five robes and two fishes. So now, all this limitation. And when Jesus asked the disciples of Jesus to feed the people, the people, they didn't know what to do because they had only five robes and two fish. Now Philip, he was a means of a creator, means, means of finance or whatever. He said, God, I have seen a boy here with five loves and the two fishes. And here we have about 5,000 excluding women and children. Now, what are we going to do with the only five loves and the two fishes? Jesus released these people to go home and eat. Jesus told them, don't worry, you, you yourself, you will them. The disciples were so numb. They didn't know what to do because they said, Jesus, are you crazy? What are we, how are we going to feed these people? We don't have anything. We only see this boy with only five robes and two fishes. But Jesus, who is the Messiah, who has opened heaven, who, 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 has, who walked in the water, who created, who, who, who raises the dead from life, from, who raises the, the dead to, to be alive, he told his disciples, wait, you have not seen anything. The, the very five loaves and two fishes, it would be multiplied and everybody, every one of you will be, will be, will, will be eating. So the enemy that wants to limit you, wants to make you to scratch your head, wants to see that you cannot achieve anything, is a liar. Your limitation is coming. The, the, the Lord is going to break limitation. You will jump out. You will move forward. You will move step forward in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jeremiah felt like he was just a child in, in he was just a child in Jeremiah 1. He felt, I am a youth, I am a child, God. How can you use me? The Lord told him, Jeremiah, before you were born, I knew you. You are my prophet. Do, so go ahead and do what I've, I, I do what I've asked you to do. You may feel down, but God knows you. He will tell you, my daughter, my son, go ahead. Do what you are supposed to do. Hallelujah. The, the power against the limitation, it will be broken. I break them. I break them by the power and the blood of Jesus. This is at the very prominent people, very powerful people in the history of the Bible. They were felt like they cannot do it, but they were able to do it. Hallelujah. Sometimes you feel so low. Sometimes you are down. You feel like you can't. You can't. God is talking to you this morning. Go. You will do it. You will make it. Don't look at your circumstances. Don't look at your height. Don't look at your size. Don't look at your, 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 your money, your, 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 your purse in, in your pocket. Just go ahead. God will, will, is with you. Paul had a thorn in the flesh. Admitted was weak and troubling. In, in, in First Corinthians 2, Paul had a fresh of turn. He admitted he was weak and trembling. Poor Apostle Paul, he was sick. He had a, a ton of, of fresh. But he, he, the enemy wanted to limit him. But he didn't give up. He continued. Paul was praying for people. He was laying hand. He was doing the mission. But he was suffering. So your, your problem, your situation cannot be a portion of your limit. So this one, the enemy wanted to put Paul down. And Paul did not know what to do. But he didn't give up. He continued. Powers of limitation. Any turn in, in you that will make you to limit God. Let this power die. Let them be destroyed in the, in the name of Jesus. Facing limitation is something every church member understands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It could be a, a singer or a, 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 music, a musician. It could be a Sunday school teacher trying to grow their class. It could be a parent or a mother relationship that seems impossible to repair. It, it can be anything. You, you've been married. Now the marriage is, is almost a breakup. You just wonder. You say, should I go with the, Should I take this marriage? What is this? A limited. And the enemy has put a limit. Choir member or instrument or music. 
You want to start a church. You want to go to, to serve God. And you see, you don't have a choir member. You don't have instrument. You don't have, you don't have a music instrument. So you, you, you feel like you can't do what you are supposed to do. Go ahead. God is with you. You will make it. I was like, I myself, I, I was a stammerer. I was not able to talk properly. Sometimes even pronounce words was a very hard, difficult for me to pronounce. But I keep on, keep on, keep on. I said, I will continue no matter. I will make it. Today, I can speak thousands of words without problem. In the name of Jesus Christ. I thank God. It could be your prayer life or a spiritual walk with God that seems to be a, a, a pocket, a, a bogged down. Maybe in your spiritual life, you cannot, you are down. You don't know what to do. You are so low. You are, you cannot pray. You feel like you cannot do anything. You, you have been fixed and in a place. You feel like nothing. You don't want to do anything. Go ahead and do it. You are able. You are able. That limit, I break them. It is broken in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. It could be your effect to win soul or teach or preach or train that is unfruitful. You try to go to, to, to minister. You try to, you want to preach. You want to do. God has called you, but you are, stagger, you are stagnant. You don't know what to do. Go ahead and start minister. Give, give a testimony. Give testimony to someone. Give testimony. Share. You can be a group of two or three. You can be able, if you cannot stand with the microphone in the congregation, but you have a neighbor, you have your friends, share. God is calling you. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. It could be stewardship or financial progress. That never seems to happen. It could be a desire to do something for God that is out of your, your comfort zone. So you want to do something. You want to offer. Some people, they call me, they want to, uh, they want to plant a seed, but they don't have anything. But that one cannot let you know to serve God. You will serve God. You will still love God. You cannot go to church. You cannot refuse to go to the church because you don't have offering. Or you don't have the clothes, the good clothes to wear. Maybe you see that your church members, they have good clothes. They wear nice every Sunday. But with you, when you look at yourself, you have nothing. You, so you feel guilty. You feel like, you. What, why am I? What am I going to wear to the church? Go to church. God knows you. Your time is coming. He's going to open windows of heaven and bless you. Sometimes you feel like when people are contributing, giving to God, you don't have anything to give, so you feel guilty. That Sunday, that time you don't trap because you don't have anything to give. Go, God will bless you. Don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. I break limitation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you, my God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Limiting condition, restrictive wickedness, lack of capacity, inability or handicap. Uh, limit, limiting condition is, is restrictive weakness, lack of capacity, inability or handicap. Limit can, can, can handicap you that you cannot be able to do what you want to do. But today, in the name of Jesus Christ, I break that limit. I break that limiting. Discernment of the limitation. It is a spiritual limitation. In the book of uh, Matthew 17, verse 16, and I, and, and I brought him to the disciples and they could not cure him. You see, spiritual limitation. The disciples of Jesus, whom Jesus sent and told them, go and cast out the demons. And they were cast. One time they came when they were loving and thank God and said, even the demon were obeying us. That is the book of Luke 10. And, and, and you see, they were happy. Now, when a person, a man, took his son to, to the disciples to, to, to cast out the demon. They were limited. They were not able to cast the demon, the demons from this from the, the boy. So the, the, the his father took this to the, the son to the to Jesus and he reported Jesus. And this his father reported his disciples to Jesus and told Jesus, Why? I brought my son to your to the disciples, but they were not able to cure my son what is happening jesus was very angry with the, with the, the disciples and jesus said 
what, how long do you want to be how long do you think i will be with you so limit limitation the disciples were disgraced were shamed were low they they were they were almost wanted to give up because the the father of the of the boy reported them to jesus and one time jesus saw the disciples they were happy they were healing they were excited they were sending demons out but now the boy was not they were not able to cast out the demon from this boy the Lord may God be your portion. May, may not the limitation be your portion. May God deliver you. Don't be discouraged. Go ahead. So the disciples of Jesus, they didn't give up. They, they break limitation by praying and fasting. Jesus told them, this, see, these things need prayer, by, prayer and fasting. Therefore, if you, you try this and this and nothing is happening, the Bible says, pray and fasting. I have been sacrificing myself praying so much many prayers i don't sleep well as as i started since monday i've been praying i have so much periscope while you are sleeping me i'm praying so i know my prayer would not go free god told me i am going to celebrate my 20th but on 20th but my party day therefore i will sacrifice to pray for those people who have no who, who have been torment, tormented people who have been uh, suffering uh, who are some of them they have been engaged so the lord will set some of the people free and also there will be a lot of miracle many people are want to be restored many people are want to get married many people their finances is want to change people have not been sleeping they will start sleeping some of them you will consume and give back i know this i know many of you are want to be set free that's why when you follow me, you continue following me. God is going to change your circumstances around you. Now, I'm telling you that this is what I'm doing and I'm happy to do that. And God has given me strength. I am, I am full of energy. I'm not tired. And I, I am here. Look at myself. Do you see me like I'm tired? I, I don't sleep. I, I just focus praying. When I leave the periscope, I'm continue praying, continue praying because God has said, and I need my miracle too. We need to see God is God. My God, I thank you, Jesus. So the spiritual limitation can hinder you not to do anything that you are supposed to do. The disciples, the disciples of Jesus, they were with Jesus. But now when they brought this boy, they were not able to cure the boy. But Jesus told them, this, this needs prayer and fasting. In Matthew 17, verse 21, How beat this kind God not out but prayer and fasting. Jesus told them, this can go only prayer and fasting. We will be coming for prayer. The only way to overcome this limitation is to strengthen inner man. You have to strengthen your inner man. You have to strengthen your inner man. You have to ask the Holy Ghost fire to enter into your inner man. You say, Holy Ghost fire, enter my inner man. My inner man, receive fire. My inner man, receive fire. When you feel like you are so low, you don't know what to do. You are limited. You just open your mouth. You just... You just ask the Holy Ghost to fill your inner man. You say, my inner man, receive fire. My inner man, receive fire. My inner man, don't be discouraged. Don't give up. That word only can deliver you, can set you free, can bind the demons. When you are so sad, you have been crying, you, 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 you give up. You give up, you are offended. You just say, no, I'm tired. Enough is enough. You, the, you make the, the devil to celebrate and break dance. You make the devil to be very happy. But when you see, you are not doing anything. What am I going to do? My inner man, receive fire. My inner man, receive fire. My inner man, receive fire. You can say that prayer even one hour. During that time, that your stress will change. And you will, you will feel yourself a different person. Look at the, uh, uh, Ephesians, uh, Ephesians 3 verse 16. The Bible says that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by, by his spirit in the inner man. 
that he could grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. That's why you need to call in a man. When you are so low, when you don't know what to do, you are fixed, you are confused. Something has happened, you don't know. Call the Holy Ghost. Call the inner man. The Spirit of God will fill the gap and you will feel the strength of God. The Lord will be strengthened you. He will give you strength in the name of Jesus. You don't have energy. You have been sucked. If something has happened that has, has drained your energy. Remember to say, my inner man, receive fire. My inner man, receive fire. Remember that. Don't give up. Look at the frustration all that the men and women of God went through. Even the disciples of Jesus, when his father, the father of this boy, went to Jesus and Jesus healed the boy. So this, his disciples, they, did, they were not discouraged. They continued with the journey. Hallelujah. Yes, my inner man, receive fire. My inner man, receive fire. That is the prayer point you can tell your, your inner man. When you are low, when you don't know what to do, you are at the state of conviction. You don't, you don't, you are so low. You cannot even open your mouth, but you can be able to remember that. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you now. I am going to pray against the powers of limitation. Powers of limitation. You are a liar. Die. You, you call the name like Jesus called Satan. Satan, get out. It is written. So you call the name of the demon, the name of the powers that is limiting you. Like you find you cannot do anything. That is the power of limitation. You call them by name. You say, powers. Power of limitation. You are a liar. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus. You command them to die. You, you speak. You tell that limitation, die. Get out of my life in Jesus' name. Every power assigned to disorganize my life. You are a liar. Every power uh, assigned to disorganize your life. There is some power from the kingdom of darkness that has been assigned disorganize you there is power that they are, 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 are been assigned to disorganize you that's why you see you people you are disorganized you cannot organize anything you are so disorganized you are very corrupt there is some powers from the bottom left of the pit from the kingdom of darkness have been assigned against you against your life that makes you you cannot be organized you are always disorganized. Have you seen people like that? Very disorganized people. Even if they are, they are bosses, they are degrees, they are managers in the big organization. When you go there, you see, surely, these people are very disorganized. But because of the powers of darkness, have entered in their organization, have entered in the church, have entered into their life. So everything is disorganized. You pray those powers. Every power assigned to disorganize you disorganize you i destroy you i bind you i command you to die in the name of jesus christ you i dismantle every power of backwardness in the name of jesus you command the powers of backwardness instead of going forward you are going backward people are moving forward with you you are going backward you are stagnant stagnant the enemy has put you in stagnation. You don't move. You are a circle. You circle yourself like this. Year and years, year pass. You waste a lot of time. You waste your time. Age is going. Is going. You are getting old. You are not getting young anymore. You, the time you waste, you will not revise the time. Days, months, years. You are in the same circle. Circle, circle. You pray. Every power. You powers of limitation. Make me backward. I dismantle you. I dismantle every power of backwardness in the name of Jesus. Today I am dismantle every power of backwardness. The powers that make you to go backward, I dismantle them. I dismantle them by the power and the blood of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, let your hands receive power to prosper in the name of Jesus. 
stretch your hand forward me like this, like you are going to receive something. I am going to put some 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 things on your, your your hands. I am asking the Holy Spirit, the Father, to put the the prosperity in your hand. If you are holding your phone, put in a speaker, or if you are driving, whatever you are doing, you can stretch your one hand if you are holding the phone, the other hand, or whatever you are doing to receive the blessings of God. In the name of Jesus, you receive it. I pray your hands to receive power to, to prosper in the name of Jesus. Receive power to prosper. This week, the end of this week, you will prosper. Everything you do, it is going to prosper. Your children will prosper. Your family will prosper. You will prosper in healthy. You will, everything you are doing is going to prosper. My God, my Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray every power reporting you to the covenant. You are a liar. I command you to die in Jesus' name. You know the disciples, the, 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 the father of the boy went and reported the, the disciples to Jesus. So there's power who wants to report you in a wrong way. Some people, are, are, they, they are suffering. They are even locked in prison because of this power. Go, go, go. This power goes to report them for wrong accusation. So they are against you. They are not good power. So they go and report you to their enemies. And then the enemies planning what to do. So let this power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every power reporting you in the covenants, report you into your enemies. Let this power be destroyed. Let them be landed powerless. Let them be uprooted from the roots in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Father and my God, I pray for these people wherever who is going through some difficult time. I pray that, that the powers that is limiting this person to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I am praying for David Son, this young boy who has been accused for things that he did not do. My Father and my God, I ask the angels that open the, the doors in the prison of Peter, that released Peter from prison. Peter was arrested. He did not do anything. He was go he was preaching, and he was thrown in prison, uh, in the inner court. But the angels went there and released Peter. And now those people they died instead of Peter. Therefore, all the accusation, all the accuser of Davidson, accusing all those who are accusing them, let them die. Instead of Beda, the Beda will not be jailed. In the name of Jesus, I, I am sending angels of God to go before him and release him in Jesus' name. I pray for the crown, wherever the lawyers and everyone who is behind that case. My God, let the favor fall upon, up, upon David's son, God. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, please, there is a young man who has been locked in prison, things he did not do. And the mother just called me and she has been following me. And yesterday, I don't know from, from Monday, that's when she came, she came up and, and told me what is going on. So therefore, every one of us, let us pray and intercede for this young, this boy to be released from prison. Friday, when we shall celebrate, we will celebrate with the family of, of Davidson. Uh, Kat, Katana, Kat, Katana is one to uh, celebrate with us on Friday during my party day. I am, I could ask you to go and plant a seed. To go and plant a seed if you think this ministry is, is, is blessing you. Go and plant a seed and you will see what God is going to do to you. Go and plant anything. Call me. Even if you, 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 even if you plant even $5, God knows you. He knows that is what you have. You will see what God is going to do to your life. I'm telling you this prayer is not a joke. I've seen so many testimony. People call me all over the world and they, and they are giving me testimony. Look, go to, to Twitter and look at there. Look at Facebook. Everywhere people are calling me. I am, I, it is amazing and I don't know how I'm doing these things. I have a class. I have phones to attend, email to attend, Twitter, text, or, or, or Periscope, not Periscope, uh, uh, what do we call it? Uh, uh, Skype, all of these, the phones, my phones, all of them rings at a go, all of them, but I have a strength to answer them. I don't sleep. I've been working so hard. I thank God that God will help you, will strengthen you, and God will deliver you. This young man, 
This young boy will be delivered by fire, by thunder, in the name of Jesus. My father, my father and my father, in the name of Jesus. This Friday, when I, I we will be celebrating our my party day, and Saturday is official day that we will celebrate. But Friday is the 20th, that is my party day and the anniversary, but we have said Saturday. God, you are God. We am going to celebrate and let me celebrate with the people who have been crying, people who have been tormented, people who have been going through. They will have testimony. If you have a testimony, text me, call me. I want you, I will give you, I will, I will give you permission to share. If you have a testimony, I call me, I, I, will, you, I will give you permission to share on Friday, Saturday. So God bless you so much. I have to stop here. Go to our website, www dot overcomers dh ministries dot blogspot dot ca in the, our website on top of our website you will see twitter facebook youtube and in when you see all that you click anyone it will direct you to the, the, the videos then you will see news and events in the website the our blog it will show you news and events you click there news and event you will see the class we have a, a, a overcomers training school we have overcomers deliverance training school you are you need to join the school the school all rules and the requirement is there so you go there and get and and and, and read the instruction and call me if you want to attend this class your life will not be the same. You will, you will discover things you don't know. Even your church cannot tell you. Some people that they, they are shocked. Yesterday I was talking with a lady. She was shocked and she said, is this true really? Is this what the Bible says? Yes. Because I'm dealing with you one on one in a class. You can be anywhere in the world. But I will talk to you. I will reach you and talk to you and, and show you things that you don't know. My, may God help you. In the name of Jesus. I thank God for every one of you. Thank you very much for joining. We will have another periscope. One o'clock. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. People of God see you. One o'clock. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful time. All the information will be in our under the need of periscope. Uh, uh, you, you, uh, you, you, uh, in the video. So God bless you. See you one o'clock. Thank you very much for joining and have a wonderful time. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isik, saying bye bye, bye bye to you. Bye. Ah, yes.